guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today I am back with another movie review and this is a movie that I've seen millions of times before, especially when I was a child. I just decided to revisit that movie today. The movie is The Witches. I'm not sure if you guys will remember it. It is a very old movie from way back in the 1900s, 1990, two years before I was even born. I was still a little sperm swimming around in my dad's balls. I remember it very well. But yeah, we're talking about that movie. <laughs> so I was just talking about that with my grandma a few days ago and it just kind of reminded me, something reminded me of it and I was like, oh yeah, I remember that movie, but I remember I didn't really like it because I watched it around the same time I saw Hocus Pocus and I loved Hocus Pocus a whole lot more. Um, Hocus Pocus felt more Halloween-y, it felt more colorful, everything throughout the movie is more colorful, it's very purple and green and everything like that, like there's a lot of colors and uh, orange and stuff like that like a lot of you know it's just very halloweeny type of movie um and it's kind of goofy and silly and funny where the witches felt a little more scary to me it felt a little more serious so i remember not really liking the witches as much um but if you guys don't know i'll tell you a little about it just from wikipedia the witches is a 1990 american dark fantasy comedy horror film directed by nicholas rogue from a screenplay uh, by Alan Scott, based on the 1983 novel of the same name by Roald Dahl. The film stars Angelic Angela Angelica <laughs> uh, Houston and Mae Zetterling. The plot features evil witches who masquerade as ordinary women and follows a boy and his grandmother who must find a way to foil their plans of turning children into mice. So I was talking about like childhood movies with my grandma the other day and we stumbled upon talking about this movie. Um, some of them she didn't remember at all. And then she was like, oh yeah, I remember the witches. And we got talking about it and I was thinking about it and I was like, I really don't remember much about this movie, except like I remember it being about a boy, his grandmother, and there was a hotel and there was a whole bunch of witches that were bald. And um, it was just, yeah, just little things like that came back to me and the scene with the witch with the purple eyes and he's in the treehouse and she's got the snake um, and she's like, I brought this for you. Little boys love snakes. And uh, he's like, he knows she's a witch because her eyes are glowing purple. And that's like the grandmother's telling him these stories like when he goes to bed and he loves these stories. Um, the little boy was different than I remembered. I always thought it was the kid from like Sixth Sense. I don't know why. I mean, they were both very similar, but I just felt like it was him, but I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I remember that part creeping me out a little bit. And she's like, how about some chocolate? And she's got this like big gold, like Willy Wonka chocolate bar. It looked like in a big, in like gold foil. She's trying to entice him down and he won't fall for it. He knows she's a witch. But yeah, that's one scene that like definitely stuck with me. And I also remember the little fat kid, Bruno. Um, he was pretty funny, but uh, watching back at it now, I kind of hated him a little bit because of the way he's just contaminating all the food in the, in the, in the hotel. He's like going up to the buffet and he's just like, he's like taking bites out of everything and putting it back on the plate that is one of my biggest pet peeves whenever i go to a party um now as an adult like as soon as they announce the food is open i'm straight there like before all the kids get over there and start picking their nose and wiping it on things and licking stuff and putting it back it's fucking revolting um <laughs> so yeah when i was a kid I, I thought bruno was funny but now as an adult he kind of pissed me off a little but yeah i just watched it today and it's a lot shorter than i remember it's less than an hour and a half i think it was like an hour and 26 minutes um and I watched it and I was just trying to like remember it and it did all come back to me. I do remember it. Um, and it was very fast, very short. Like I said, I always remember it being a lot longer for some reason, but maybe it's just because I didn't enjoy it. Like I said, when you are watching something that's not really enjoyable, it seems to drag on longer. But yeah, it was a pretty good movie and it definitely had like a 1990s feel to it. It was nostalgic to look back on, even though it wasn't a movie I was a fan of really watching it turned me into a fan i guess um i was very impressed by it i enjoyed it very much even though i just sat there and watched it alone during the day the witches did a really good job like forgetting that they're actors when you're watching it because you're watching it and you're like oh god these fucking witches are creepy as hell um they're all bald with like they take their wigs off in the in the hotel when they're having like the big witch meeting all the witches from like this movie takes place in the, in England. So they're all from like around England. They all come to this big witch meeting in this hotel and they are like when they are in the room together, that's when they're able to reveal what they truly look like. So they all start taking off masks, like skin masks and wigs. 
um, and they're all like really grotesque monsters underneath rotten teeth and warts all over their heads and like um, they have like hairs all over them and stuff like that. And, like they have no toes. That was another thing. Oh, also about that. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the movie, which is one part that I did remember. I always remembered the painting, um, the story about the little girl who got trapped in the painting by a witch. So it shows that at the very start of the movie and it tells the story of this little girl um, who was, this is like way back in the old days and uh, she got abducted by a witch and they could never find her. But the father of the little girl had this new painting in the house and it was a painting of like a little cottage or like a little wooden cabin in the woods and stuff like that. And you could just see a little window and it was just a black window, like an open window, nobody was in there until the witch got the girl. And then the father started to see the little girl, his daughter, appear in the painting in the window of the cabin. And she's just looking out. And as time went on, the girl aged too in the painting. Um, nobody ever saw her move. She didn't walk around or anything like that. But every day, like at any time you would look at it, she would have changed positions. And she, as time went on, she got older and older and older. She, it even showed her when she was like a teenager and then way up until she was an old woman and she was kind of like hunchbacked and very old. And then all of a sudden one day she just faded away. And that implied that the little girl lived her whole life trapped inside a painting and then died. That creeped me out when I was a kid and I remembered that part very well. I didn't remember how it like how the whole story went, but watching it again, it came back to me and I was like, wow, that was pretty spooky. Yeah, the witches in this are very, um, they're very different to Hocus Pocus witches. The ones in Hocus Pocus are like stereotypical witches, um, three of them in, in the little pack, uh, what do you call it? A pack of witches, <laughs> I can't remember, like the little covern, is it covern, coven, covern of witches. And uh, they, they sort of, have a big cauldron and they mix potion and they fly on broomsticks. They're very like that. Um, this one is more like they look like regular women. And that's the whole point is like, they are regular women. You don't know who's truly a witch. Um, but it's only when they're like behind closed doors, that's when they reveal their true identities. Also the witches in Hocus Pocus were very silly and goofy and funny. These ones were kind of scary. Um, they were not very funny. They were very bizarre and their the way they the way they just looked and the way they behaved did come across as like very witchy i wouldn't even say witchy they didn't seem like witches to me in some ways they seemed more like people that were possessed by a demon or something like it was like not truly i don't know it's it's so hard to explain but like the way their eyes glow purple and they're very like uh, and one of them was literally like salivating sal salivating at the mouth um, and like licking her lips and stuff while the Grand High Witch was up on the stage in the hotel talking about um, the like what they're gonna do to the children and stuff like that. It was very creepy. And uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie and you don't like spoilers, stop watching here. But uh, they the, the, the boy does get turned into a mouse um, and so does the little fat kid, his friend. They become friends. Um, the grandma knows and she finds out who the Grand High Witch is and how every woman in this hotel is a witch. And so they come up with a plan to take the potion that turns the kids into mice and they put it in the soup in the kitchen, which all the witches are gonna be eating for lunch. And they do, and then all the witches turn into mice, including the Grand High Witch. And Mr. Bean is also in the movie too. He's the hotel manager. But yeah, it's a pretty good movie. If you guys haven't seen it, um, I would recommend it. It's very, like I said when I was a kid, I didn't really enjoy it, but looking back on it now, it was nostalgic and it was nice to look back on. It was just a fun little goofy movie. Um, it wasn't as scary as I or serious as I remember it being. Now that I'm an adult, it's kind of silly. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you guys haven't seen it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and remember the most important thing, chase your dreams.